Sometimes. Depending on the ladies. Or should I say the women? <laughs> Arthur, my boy. Whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then, yet? I guess. I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Doesn't to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you- No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there, and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. For sure. This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting.
Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Cars are still on time. I'm trying. Try harder. Yeah, lady skirts keep going. Make that the last time you stop about me. it. Yep. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? I hear one no Thanks. Voice, well, give it back then. Jesus. <sighs> I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yep. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Now. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... You know, maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook, please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! Range here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Yeah. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bed. That side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. 
Easy, you're gonna wreck the wagon. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe, if he asks. But maybe not. Hey, watch it. Yep. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you what go and tell about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to be in that journal of yours. The mind follows. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. Well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Hello, Arthur. How's it going? Hey, Lenny. Well, good day so far. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, 
These moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? I swear they got it in for me. You could try Come on, mister. Once in a while. Keep your eyes open. No. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Hey, hey, not so fast! Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Track easy. We ain't in that much of a hurry. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. He'd drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? 
I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea, Arthur. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. One by the bridge over there. this bastard up. I, I think there's another one by the still. Drop him with the other. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about it. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear.
Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Are we getting out of here then? Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill! Get this stuff out of here! Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes! Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that.
I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. 